Hello, and welcome to my channel Minute Learning, where I try and get a topic from my brain to yours in a matter of minutes. If you enjoy my content, then please like, comment, and subscribe, as it really helps me out. Thank you. Today, I'll be addressing the question, is the Bloody Chamber a feminist text? And will provide the ideas so that a comprehensive essay could be written on the subject. If you have any other key points that I've missed, then please comment them below. I've split my ideas up into four sections, the structure of the text, the character of the mother, the treatment of women by the Marquis, and finally, the character of the heroine herself. First up, the structure of the text. The main heroine of the story remains nameless throughout the text, which, in my opinion, shows she is structurally disempowered, because names hold great importance in literature, and through her not getting one, she seems powerless compared to the Marquis. On the other hand, Gradesaver.com states that by leaving the heroine nameless, Carter universalises her struggle so that she represents all women, although you can choose which opinion to take. On the other hand, the heroine narrates her story from her point of view, which differs from the typical third-person narrative that is usually found in a fairy tale. This is empowering because she is taking control over her own story. Second up, the character of the mother. The character of the heroine's mother is one of the main pieces of evidence that this is a feminist text as she subverts what is usually a male role in the original Bluebeard fairy tale. In the traditional tale, the heroine's brothers save the heroine from being beheaded rather than the mother, thus showing that she is adopting the masculine role in the text. Another way that the mother can be seen as a feminist hero is because her husband died at war, leaving her to raise the heroine on her own, showing that she is a strong, independent woman. Next up is the Marquise's treatment of women. There is great evidence that this is perhaps not a feminist text because of the brutal treatment of women by the Marquis. He dominates the heroine sexually, treats her like a child, and has killed all his previous wives in violent ways, showing that he is a misogynistic character. Finally, the heroine herself. The heroine herself provides a mixed view of whether she is a feminist hero or a subjugated female. She marries for money rather than love, as shown by the quote, I am sure I want to marry him. This causes her to be reliant on the Marquis for money and consign herself to a subservient role in the marriage. On the other hand, the very act of her looking at the bloody chamber shows that she is transgressive and does not always obey her husband. Therefore, the mark on her forehead is a sign of her transgression against patriarchal society. So what do you think? Is the bloody chamber a feminist text? Comment below with your opinions and I'll see you in the next video.